Bobcat 843 Isuzu diesel valve adjustment. Oh no, something's missing. Here she is. Sorry about removing these or loosening these. Oh, well, three valve cover bolts. 10 millimeter head. Looks like it's got a special gasket. We don't want to mess that up. Everything in here actually looks cleaner than I thought it would be. Looks pretty good. I believe we want to do, I believe this guy's number one cylinder. Uh, basically need to rotate her around till she's on a compression stroke, top dead center, till we have a clearance in between the valves and the rocker and then put our fuel our gauge in and adjust these guys until we achieve the correct clearance there's actually three marks okay there you can kind of see them there's three marks there's one other additional mark where that orange line is i added the orange line and then there's a raised boss in the front of the motor you want to align that for top dead center for the number one cylinder and the number four cylinder. So the spec calls for 16 thousandths of an inch clearance at top dead center. And without adjusting this one, we are at approximately 19 thousandths way better than what I anticipated it to be. Uh, since we're here, I'm gonna adjust it down to the factory spec, which is 16 thousandths. When number one cylinder is on top dead center, you can adjust the intake and the exhaust on number one. You can adjust the intake on number two, and the exhaust on number three. You want to make sure you have it at the right position before you start making adjustments, which is number one, top dead center on a compression stroke. You can tell by checking the valves. Certain valves should be open, certain valves should be closed at that time, and there's also a timing mark on the front. Here's our 16 thousandths feeler blade. You want to insert it in between the rocker and the valve stem and adjust the adjustment screw until it just slides back and forth. Just when you get a little bit of drag, that's when you know you got it in the right position. Now that trick is holding the adjustment screw and locking it in place. Double check, still good. And now we'll 
pers do the same procedure on the exhaust valve on number one cylinder. Get my feeler blade in there. We'll check the intake on the run, make sure it's nice and tight. And we're still good there. Still good there. Now I'll just repeat the same procedure for the intake valve on number two and the exhaust valve on number three, which is down here where you can't see. Okay, so we're looking for the number four cylinder. Both rockers to have clearance of the valve. Intake and exhaust. And then intake on number three and the exhaust on number two. So number two exhaust, number three intake, and the intake and exhaust on the four cylinder. So we should be good to make those adjustments now. Same as before, 16 thousandths, the same for all. Let's see what this one has. Looks like we're about 21 thousandths, not too hateful. Watch that one. There. I did do a couple things off camera. I went back and I double checked all the valve clearances. 
put some markers on top of, well, paint markers on top of the valves that were adjusted at the same time. Should have done that at the beginning. First cylinder intake and exhaust with a green mark. Second cylinder intake. Third cylinder exhaust. For the second process, it's up with an orange marker. Top dead center on four cylinder intake and exhaust. Intake on number three, exhaust on number two. So that's the process, guys. It's all adjusted. All we have to do is put the valve cover back on and we're ready to go. That was probably my first valve adjustment since about 2002. I think it went okay. If there's something that you saw that you didn't like or you thought that I did completely wrong, go down in the comments section. Tell me what you thought about it. Something that you like, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. We got a lot more videos coming out before we can get this baby back in the dirt.